As you figured out by now, I came back from the dead to connect some dots that I couldn't connect while I was alive. As I've said repeatedly, you can't connect the dots going forward. You can only connect them going backwards and hope they'll connect in the future. Well, I'm back to connect some dots. Um, a historical footnote. After the Bay of Pigs, the huge debacle in which Kennedy's attempt to invade Cuba failed, he reached out to Eisenhower and he said, what went wrong? Where did I mess up? And Eisenhower said, you didn't have a process. And by that he meant you didn't have a step-by-step -step process to get through that difficult time. Kennedy listened very eagerly and he developed the process. So when the Cuban Missile Crisis came around, he used the process and quite possibly prevented the world from being destroyed in a nuclear war. So I've come back because what I realized is I didn't leave Apple with a process to continue what was in my head so that they could continue to be a disruptively innovative company. I should have learned that because when I was demoted and I left in 1985, it floundered without me. And then I learned a lot of lessons. And when I came back in 1997, uh, I thought that I had filled the gaps. I had Tim Cook, who was a terrific COO and a terrific CEO, and I had Johnny Ive, this amazing designer who could, who could read my mind and design amazing things. Uh, Johnny is the closest that anyone's ever come to being able to see what I saw in my mind's eye and actually produce it. But when I left, I realized that I still was the person who had most of the dots connected in my head, and they didn't have a process to continue. So what you'll find below is a 10-step process that I think is what I did to turn Apple around. It's also something you can use in your company. Also key to it is I use language that the people tasked with turning it around will understand. One of the reasons strategies don't work is because often the people tasked with executing them don't understand big words like vision, mission, culture, strategy, values. They will smile as if they understand them, but what they'll do is go back to doing what they were already doing. What's important is to come up with a language that people with a fourth grade education can understand and that these steps fit together in a lock, step, Lego-like pattern that they can follow in which they don't fall through the cracks. Uh, I hope that what you see and what uh, follows is something that can help you build an insanely great company because it's the steps that I followed intuitively to do the same for Apple.